Hello beautifuls, this is Around Me here, and welcome back to Saga Academy. I just realized I'm very dumb. I am quite dumb. I kept saying I wouldn't tell you guys who I was pursuing, but I realized my outro I made, he is already in the outro. So, you guys are probably like, oh my god, Aromi, you're so dumb. We already know who he is. It's, it's PPG. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I totally forgot. I was texting Tyler because I was taking a little break. And then I was like, Tyler, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid, I'm laughing at myself. Because I, I, I don't even. I had to do something. Who knew when another chance like this would come? But Shane didn't seem friendly. In fact, he seemed downright suspicious. Surely he wasn't wanting me already. Maybe it was better not to risk it. Try talking to him. Give him a space. He don't... He, mm, mm. This is tough. Should I just continue to persist to talk to him? But then he'll think I'm only talking to him to be in his club. Or I give him his space and then he'll think I'm not confident. Let's just give him his space. I chewed my lip and stared at my desk, trying not to think of what a loser I look like. Shane's stare still stung me, hot on the side of my face. He wasn't looking away. Finally, I turned to look. To turn, I turned to him, hoping to break the silence. The classroom door swept open and saw a group of girls entered the classroom. Shane looked away. The atmosphere was broken. I heaved a sigh of relief. Maybe if we did try to talk to him, we wouldn't even be able to because she would be too nervous and then those girls would have came in anyway. What was up with these normal boot guys? John was really nice when I spoke with him, but PBG and Shane seemed to hate me. You know what's weird though? Even though PBG and Shane treated her like that, as me as a person, I still find, like, my curiosity wants to know them more. So I tend to go after people like that, which is probably horrible, because then what if they're, like, really, like, evil and I went after them? <laughs> uh, well, now you know what guys I go after. <laughs> as, I, as I just sit here, smiling sadly. <laughs> they were anything but normal. But, I mean, you know, curiosity. My curiosity wants to feed on to more curiosity. I waited for Mai to come... May. My. My. Correct. Mai. Mai to come to class, wanting desperately to tell her what happened. But when the bell rang and Miss Shizuka started teaching, Mai still hadn't come. What is she doing? Well, she was... Maybe she forgot the letter she was going to give Jared? I'm assuming that's what it is. The class came and went. The bell rang and I was alone. PPG stared at me for the entirety of the class period. His face growing more and more menacing by the minute. How his face wasn't stuck in a perma frown, I would never know. Shane and John didn't bother talking to me as they left the classroom and the other students paired up around me. Hey Mimi, would you like to engage in a casual discourse this evening? A what? Yeah, of course. But why are you talking like that? Oh wait, that's the girl that we accidentally... I gathered up my things and headed to the dorm. With well, a sigh, I unlocked the door to my dorm room. As soon as the door opened, I heard... Anna! What? My and I lay in a heap <laughs> on the floor. I'm so glad you're back. She wrapped her arms around my head and nuzzled me. Uh... Wh what are you doing? Come, look, look. She got, a she got off me and helped me to my feet. Without Mai's face filling my vision, I saw something had changed. <gasps> oh my goodness! The dorm room looked like looked nothing like what it was what it had before. The posters and fairy lights were still up, but now the window had light pink curtains on it that cast a warm haze around the room. A brand new white carpet was in the floor. Pillows are high in a mountain of on the top bunk top top bunk of the bunk bed. I'm trying to look around as well as trying to read, and it's terrible. Even our chairs had been replaced with new cushy leather ones. What happened here? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't tell you, but I wanted to surprise you. I thought this would come in yesterday, but it was delayed by a day. I wanted to set it up to be a big surprise. I'm still not done yet, though. She gestured to some small potted plants, pant arranged in neat rows on her desk. I want to help? Yeah. Do I ever? Hell yeah, I love decorating stuff. We finished setting the room up, switching few objects here and there in order to better facilitate the feng shui. 
which Mai told me was in excruciatingly important. She especially wanted to make sure our room was filled with red and pinks and coupled items, though for what purpose I wasn't sure. We collapsed with heavy sighs on the floor, then heaved a great big yawn. It's not even the end of the day yet, and I'm so tired. Me too. <gasps> Wait. She shot up suddenly with a jewel. We should get some ice cream. Really? Ice cream. Ice cream. Really? Yeah. Something to celebrate being roommates. The ice cream here on campus is genuinely good. I promise. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm paying. <laughs> well, if that's the case. <laughs> you made an offer. I can't refuse. Sweet. Let's go. The school shop was in inside building off, bu building off the, the cafeteria, packed with instant noodles and giant bottles of soda. Students wandered the aisles aimlessly, clearly here more to spend time than money. Mai paid the cash cashier and grabbed our ice cream cones. Mind the covered the one covered in sprinkles. <gasps> wow! Whoa! This is delicious. Yeah. Isn't it? We're lucky to have such good food on campus. This place would be awful if we didn't. I nodded and was about to respond when I noticed a commotion outside. Ooh, let's see what let's see what's going on. Mike grabbed my arm and dragged me outside. There, three boys wearing normal boots jackets were shouting at each other, each of their faces turning purple. This again? What? What are you talking about? Mamma mia! <laughs> I'm clearly the only one who possesses the proper masculine form. Yeah, right. I'm taller than you and more attractive to boot. Come on, guys. Can you not see these muscles? <laughs> Nick pulled back to sleep with his jacket and flexed his arm. These guys always go on about weird stuff like this. They're very energetic. Oh, yeah? Josh began to go into the downward facing dog yoga pose and grinned. Look at this butt. Just look at it. What I don't understand is why they don't just ask Jared. Oh, yeah? Paul kneeled down to the ground, then took off a sprint, heating straight for us. Yeah. Check this out. He sprang into the air in a graceful ballerina's leap, spinning through the sky, and finally came straight for me. Ex when I opened my eyes, I was sprawled flat on the ground, covered in dirt. Something cold and what used on- Oh my god! It's the top of my blouse. <gasps> Hannah, are you okay? I sat up. Chunks of ice cream fell from my blouse to my skirt. Uh... What happened? Uh... You ran into someone, you idiot. My uniform. It's ruined. <laughs> A few seconds silence, and Snickers rippled around me like the whining of cic cicadas. My throat closed up, water stinging my eyes. No! Not this again. I stood up, prepared to walk away with dignity with, when the inter entirety of the Nora Boots Club suddenly appeared in front of my face. What's up? What happened here? Seriously? Tears slid down my face. No, not here. I didn't want to cry in front of them. Hey. Hana, are you Oh my god, you know my name? Oh wait, I introduced my name. <laughs> See, I am so... Oblivious. That's the word that Tyler uses on me all the time. Oblivious. Hana, are you alright? Uh, I'm going home, which is my dorm, and I feel quite sad for her right now. I want to cry too. Aww. Wait, uh, Hana, it, it's fine. I just want to be alone for now. <laughs> I took all my will not to run back to the dorm. Oh, jeez. I immediately changed into my pajamas and climbed into bed, reaching for my stuffed rabbit. What am I going to do if this ends up like last time? Mr. Bunny stared at me with his big, lifeless eyes. I squished him to my chest, losing myself in his soft fur. The door opened with a soft click. Oh, no. Hannah, are you okay? I rolled over in bed's face to wall, pretending to be asleep. Mai stood in the center of the room for a while, looking at me. Finally, she sat down at her desk and began to work on something. The sound of her pencil scratching against the paper stilled my mind. I don't know how many hours passed, but eventually I fell asleep. What is she working on? I woke up to my alarm beeping, feeling only dread of the hours to come. After the nightmare that was the ice cream incident yesterday, I never wanted to take another step out of my room. I curled up inside my, well, my blankets. As my alarm went off it was only for the second it was only the second day of school and i felt the same as i did every morning at home 
My, of course, is already up, and I could hear a hair straightener clap shut every few seconds from across the room. I felt bad about letting the alarm go off for so long, so I slid my hand out of the covers to switch it off. Hana, get up, sleepyhead. I know you're awake. I didn't even have time to poke my head out before my body slammed to the edge of the mattress, bouncing me up. She jumped from almost halfway across the room. Morning! Ha! You can't hide from me, Mai. S sorry. I was breathless and I paused to calm my heart before speaking again. Are you worried about what happened yesterday? No, no one cares about it, Hana. I almost forgot about it myself. <laughs> That's a lie. She must have seen my face. She brought an arm around my shoulder and pulled me closer to her. Uh -huh. For real though, we're gonna go to class and no one's even gonna mention it. Mention that you were you made a huge fool of yourself yesterday. Thanks. You could have put that better. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It might have been a big scene, but it totally wasn't your fault. It was Paul, alright? When you jump, you have to calculate your trajectory like I did just now. <laughs> you can learn a lot from a master like me. Get dressed and cheer up. I could bottle up your gloom and sell it to a wizard. <laughs> and what if you used it for evil? You can't let that happen, Hana. Her smile was wide enough to bridge a gap between continents. The beginning of tears pricked the back of my eyes, but this time they were for a different reason. I opened my closet and tried to avoid looking at the sad lump of clothing inside, slathered with deep with dried up ice cream, sorry. I only had two uniforms, which cost my dad an entire month's salary. If I wasn't able to get that stain out of this uniform, what would I do? Sighing, I took my second uniform off its hanger and slipped it on as my waiting impatiently for me. Ready to go? I guess so. Yeah. Good. Man, entire dad's salary? That's some expensive uniform. I would not even try to buy that. Just as I said, no one paid any special attention to me. Well, there were a few odd looks here and there, but nothing nearly as bad as what I was expecting. As the lecture went on, my anxiety for the most part faded. Which is good. We're gonna be eventually, uh... Some... The, the boots. Normal boots club is eventually gonna go up to us and say sorry, though. I'm pretty sure you guys should. I looked... I took to staring out of the window to avoid eye contact. A few boys were out on the field playing soccer. Wait, was that PPG? I scooted closer trying to get a better look. Hana, at the sound of my name, I leaped to, atten leaped to attention. If there is something more interesting outside than samurai, than samurai death battles, please feel free to enlighten us. You came here to learn, not to contemplate the scenery. Y yes, Mr. Zuka, I'm sorry. Not really. She turned back to this chalkboard and continued her lecture as if nothing happened. A few desks in front of me, a guy sitting next to Brutal Moose, turned around and gave me a flashy thumbs up. Who's this guy? <laughs> I made a face at him, unsure of what exactly he expected me to do. Then, like, Ian or I, don't know, turned around and socked him on the head. The other guy mumbled something to him, probably apologizing. His name? I slid to me for a brief instant. Then he looked away. Were they looking at me because of what happened yesterday, or was there some other reason? I shook my head. There wasn't time for this. I had work to do if I wanted to keep my scholarship. After pages and pages of notes in Japan Japanese history, it was nearly time for lunch. Okay, everyone, it's it. everyone is almost free to go. The work tonight is so hard, so don't grumble. You should work together to complete it if you have a hard time. Also, as you may be aware, the flower festival is coming up in a week and a half. This news was met with a few cheers as everyone started to pack up. Since you have the day of the festival off, our first exam will be the day before. There were no cheers this time. Romance is wonderful, believe me, I know. But try not to let the festival distract you, okay? <laughs> that is all, see you tomorrow. Ms. Shizuka flashed a peace sign and winked as she walked out the door. What a weird teacher. <laughs> Just a young teacher. Uh, that lecture was so boring. Mine walked beside me, a tray in her hands. We were shuffling through the cafeteria trying to find a seat. Why is this like freaking evening for lunch? It should be dinner time, you know. Didn't you say that yesterday? <laughs> Probably, but it's true for today too. Oh, no. Help me. I'm going to die of boredom. We have an assignment to keep us busy, Mine. What? We already have a work to do? <laughs> How did you not hear that? Hmm. 
I sighed dramatically, then leaned to the side and rested her head in the crook of my neck. I reached up to pat her head a few times, but she straightened before I could do it. Oh god, Hannah, Paul's walking over here. He's looking at you. Does he look angry to you? Why is he coming over here? Don't you think he's going to kick you again? The same Paul was humiliated, <laughs> humiliated me last night, strode towards me. I instinctively backed away, but he kept coming closer. Hey. I'm glad I found you. He didn't look angry to me. In fact, he was giving me an odd, lopsided smile. I wanted to make sure you weren't hurt or anything. You ran off before I could properly apologize. I looked down at my feet. It was embarrassing enough to that I ran off crying like a little girl, but to know that I made them feel bad it was even worse. At the same time, the image of my ruined uniform popped into my mind. I couldn't tell whether I was more angry or embarrassed, or whether I was feeling something else entirely. Um... I got you pretty bad, didn't I? I think I ballerina too hard. He tilted his head to the side. <laughs> it's a shame you're not wearing the uniform from yesterday. I like the pink swatches on you. It matched your hair. Uh, what the hell? A deep, sick feeling crawled up from my stomach to sit in my throat. That's not a compliment. My dumb, stupid hair. Everywhere I went, people made fun of it. I thought that Nor the Norma Boots guys were different, and he was trying to apologize. How can I say something like that to me? Not for the first time. I thought of dyeing it a different color, but quickly I... Not for the first time. I thought of dyeing it a different color, so she dyed her pink hair. Her hair pink, sorry, but quickly dismissed it. Paul was waiting for a response. My giving me a quick nod as if warning me not to mess this up. I mustered up my best smile, hoping it was at least something convincing. Uh, Somewhat convincing. It's okay. I, I, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I'm more than happy to pay for the dry cleaning. Josh and Nick and I feel really bad about everything. We've never made a cry, a, a cry, a girl cry before. Well, uh. not by physically injuring her, I guess. Yeah, you guys are probably mentally hurting girls left and right. But it's cool because, you know, you can't take every fan girl in the world. Thank you, but I was just going to scrub it in the sink. Dad and I could never afford things like dry cleaners, so I was, I was surprisingly good at hand washing things. That thing's going to need more than just hot water and soap, trust me. Tell me, tell you what, I have a friend who's natural with that kind of stuff. I'll ask her to get that stain out for you. Just meet me later and bring your uniform, okay? I'll try not to kick you this time. Without giving me time to say yes or no, he nodded and turned to leave. He spun quickly back around. I flinched. Are you uh... and, uh, my right? Do you guys have a t Oh, are you in, uh, uh, are you in my right? What? Do you guys have a table? The cafeteria is pretty full right now. You can sit with us if you want, just for today. <gasps> what? what? The, the, the English there confused me a bit, but alright. Yes! Yes, we'll go, right, Hannah? I. Mm, uh. Lunch. Was that normal boots club? Maybe. Maybe I really could become friends with them. And then no one would bother me again. Not about my hair or the ice cream incident, right? Yeah, yeah. please. Follow All me, right. ladies. He led us to the middle of the cafeteria where the Norma Boots Club sat at, with the table all to, it, to itself. Hey, you found her. You're Hannah, right? I nodded, blushing as I took a seat at the edge of the table next to Paul. My force is stuff between Jared and PPG. Her eyes were only a few sparkles away from forming huge hearts. Real subtle. So, um, Hana, we saw that you were upset and we're all worried. Are you feeling better? PPG looked at me, clearly concerned. Yeah. I can't, guys. His character looks so adorbs. I don't know if it's just me. Uh, it's character is just too adorable. My heart was beating hard against my chest, but I wasn't sure whether it was because I was nervous or because the sad look on his face made me want to give him a hug. Yeah, that's what I... Or maybe it was because I was about two inches away from Paul and only an arm length away from all the other guys. As I tried valiantly to open my mouth, whispers sped around the lunchroom. Look at those girls over there. Who do they think they are? How come they get to sit there? I wish Senpai would notice me. <laughs> may characters get all the luck. Suddenly my thoughts turned dark. Could it be that... By getting close to these guys, I was setting myself up as a target instead of getting protection. My thoughts spun in my head and I was suffocating. PPG was still looking at me even more worried than before. Um, I'm 
I'm fine. Thanks for your concern. Please don't feel bad. It was my fault for getting in the way. I'm sorry for causing such a scene. I should have controlled myself better. I hung my head. I wasn't sure how to act around these guys, so I was defaulted to extremely polite. My father would have been proud. This is where we're gonna stop. These girls. These girls are gonna kill us. They're upset because Senpai won't notice them. Well, you will be forever cool highs then. <laughs> or unless you fall in love with someone else, you know. It's cool too. But thank you guys for watching. As you guys know, I'm trying to go after PBG because his character is just melting my heart. Like, I'm just... I, I, I don't know. His character melts my heart. And the voice is super cute as well. <laughs> so... As I cough because I need water. But thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful. And you guys should tell me who you guys like. That'll be cool to know too. I kind of get to know your personality that way. But thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful. And I'll see you guys in the next one.